Welcome to the Mad Forensic Sciences channel. Now let's dive into some toxicology. Let's start off with what is toxicology? The scientific study of adverse effects of chemical, physical, and biological agents on living organisms and the ecosystem. It encompasses the study of toxic substances, including properties and effects on living systems, mechanisms of toxicity, and ways to prevent or treat toxicological effects. Toxicology is a critical field of study that has a profound impact on human health and the environment. It plays a crucial role in ensuring the safety of drugs, food additives, and other chemicals, and is essential in the fields of forensic science, occupational health, and public health. It informs the regulation and management of hazardous substances such as industrial chemicals, pesticides, and pollutants to protect human health and the environment. There are a few branches of, tox of toxicology, but specifically we're going to touch on forensic toxicology, clinical toxicology, environmental toxicology, veterinary toxicology, and aquatic toxicology. First, I want to start off with my favorite, forensic toxicology. This is analysis of biological samples to identify and quantify the presence of drugs or toxins. Forensic toxicologists can provide key information about substances in a person's body even after death. Findings and research are key information in many criminal investigations. Next up is clinical toxicology. It's a direct application of research to an individual patient. Clinical toxicologists may assess patients to diagnose them, assess toxic, toxin severity, and provide a long-term prognosis or treatment. Research involves the prevention and treatment of diseases caused by chemicals and toxins. The study often has a more direct approach to an individual. I want to take a moment to talk about the Lab Director Certification course. It's 20 credits certified by the AAFP. You can find the link in the comments below. Includes 10 modules where we go over everything you need to be a CLIA lab director. Now back to the presentation. Environmental toxicology focuses on how chemicals affect the environment and human health. Interested in the movement of chemicals throughout the environment. Understanding where they go, how they get there, and how they may enter our bodies. Some examples is a study of how air pollution in certain areas may have long-term adverse effects on the population. And veterinary toxicology. Research the existence of toxins and poisonous chemicals in wildlife, livestock, and pets. Attempts to understand their origins and how to prevent further exposure. An example of veterinary toxicologists can identify toxins present in animals that originated from poisonous plants or a contaminated water supply. Speaking of water supply, aquatic toxicology. Aquatic toxicologists analyze the adverse effects of contaminants and pollution from chemicals on marine organisms and the environment. They assess the condition of an aquatic ecosystem and monitor those conditions over time. Toxicologists in this branch may study the effects of pollutants on many scales. So they may be studying how uh, pollutants bioaccumulate, how they be get processed by small organisms, and then those small organisms get eaten by bigger organisms, and those bigger organisms get eaten by even bigger organisms, and then eventually eaten by us. So then they see how those, how those toxins progress through the environment. Some common routes of exposure. For toxins is inhalation occurs when a toxin is breathed in through the nose or mouth and into the lungs this includes exposure to air pollutants such as smoke or dust smoking or snorting ingestion occurs when a toxin is consumed orally this includes contaminated water swallowing of pills or food or drinks mixed with drugs or alcohol skin contact occurs when a toxin encounters the skin Includes exposure to chemicals through skin contact in the workplace, handling of contaminated materials, and drugs in the form of transdermal patches. Injection occurs when a toxin is introduced into the body through a needle or other puncture method. Includes accidental needle sticks, drug use through intravenous injection, etc. I hope you enjoyed that intro to toxicology. If you want to continue on to see ADME, click here.